Hello, and welcome to another Blender tutorial. Today, we're going to learn how to do uh, booleans with the, the bool tool, and it's an add-on that yeah, you'll install, and you don't have to, I think you can just use your modifiers here, but I, I find that I like it over here, and I, uh, I like it, so this is what this is the object that we're going to create, and as you can see, you can grab it and move it, and it'll, it's kind of interactive, so uh, if it comes outside the bool, it's just a cube, and if it goes in, it turns into four cubes. So, uh, well, four in this little area. Whole bunch of cubes. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first of all, we have to download the add on. So, I'm going to include a link in the description, and you can go ahead and click on that. And then it'll pull up this. Go ahead and click on this top one. I think you can click on either one of them, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm going to right click and hit save link as so I can save it to a specific spot. If not, you can just click on it and it'll download to your downloads. But I'm going to do this so it's a little more organized. So uh, I just hit save and show in folder. And then I'm going to right click on it and you're going to have to use an extractor. And if you don't have one, just go ahead and download one. But I think most computers should have an extractor. And you go ahead and extract it and you'll get this Python file. Now, there's some errors that with this, so I'm going to show you what the error is, so that if you get it, that's okay. So I, I just, you can close out of that or minimize it, because you're going to need it here in a minute if you get this error, which you probably will. Go to Blender, go to User Preferences. Uh, you can go ahead and type in Bool Tool and see if it's already installed, but I doubt it, because I don't think it comes, yeah, so I don't have it. I'm going to install from file and I'm going to go to where uh, I'm going to go to where I installed it to or not installed but downloaded it to uh, and I'm going to click on it and hit install from file and see this is the error that I get so I actually don't know what the error means but I figured out a way to fix it and I don't know if I, this is just my way of doing it, so I'm going to go ahead and remove this because it didn't work. And I'm going to open up Notepad. And I'm going to just bring it over here. Uh, I'm going to bring in the add ons folder that I had. And I'm also going to bring in Chrome. Grab the Python file and put it into Chrome. Now you can get rid of that. And you get all this. And you, yeah, there's a lot of stuff, and you won't know what any of it means. That's okay. Just go ahead and hit Control A, hit Control C, and then go to your notepad, hit Control V, hit File, Save As, and then right here type in bool tool dot py. Make sure you have the capital B and the capital T. I think it does matter, but I'm not positive. And go ahead and just click save. Exit out, exit out, uh, install from file, and then click on the one that we just created. So bool tool dot py. Hit install from file, and it works. So that's how we get it working. So go ahead and exit out of the user preferences now. And let's get started. Uh, Go ahead, we're going to use this cube. This is the one that's going to be cut into. Uh, so go ahead and hit Shifty to duplicate it and just move that cube. This one's going to cut into this one. So I'm going to hit Z so we can go into wireframe mode and hit 1, uh, 5, and then I'm going to move it so it's just cutting out the top section, top right section. And I'm going to use these axes because I know the axis is the middle of the cube at that point. So I'm going to align that with the axes. And then I'm going to go to top view using 7. And you can see it's clear over here. I'm going to line it up over here too. And I'm going to get in here real close. Close as I can. And voila. We now have it looks like it's cutting out that top section. Well, we haven't cut it out yet. Now, because we just installed that bool tool, you can click right here on the bool tool, and 
the first one you click on is going to be the one that cuts into this, the last one. So this one's going to cut into this one if we hit difference. Boom, it works. And it's live editable. So I can move this and it'll be fine. So I just right click to put it back where I had it. And I'm going to hit 7. I'm going to hit Shift D to duplicate it. And I'm going to move it into this spot. I'm going to hit uh, Z for wireframe mode again. And I'm going to position it. Was I not? There we go. So that it's right there. And you can see it doesn't cut in just yet. That's okay because it doesn't duplicate the Boolean as you do it. And I'm going to show you a little cool trick here in a minute. But I just want to show you that pool first. And I'm going to move it down. And I'm probably going to go into a side view so I can get it just right. Line it up with those axes. And I'm not going to cut it out just yet. I'm going to show you a nifty little trick. So now I'm going to hit this one and this one. Go to 7 view. Or yeah, hit 7 and it'll take you to the top view. Hit Shift D, duplicate it, and line it up over on this side. Now, right here, it's going to be exactly the same. So I'm just imagining it cutting out this, and that's not what we want. We actually, I want this cube to cut out right here, not there. So I'm going to go one, uh, not one, uh, three, and I'm going to make sure that those two are selected. Go back to three and then hit R and hit 90 and 90 just means 90 degrees and now I'm going to cut out that spot instead so now I should have these two selected right if I go ahead and select this other one okay so these I selected before I selected this one I select this one last and I hit difference and boom they all cut out all at once and that is way cool now that we have all these selected, go ahead and select this other one right here and hit Control J. Oh, oh, nope, I forgot I had that center one selected too. You're going to have to go, just undo that, Control Z if you did that. Select all of the outside cubes. Make sure you don't have that one selected. That's my mistake. <laughs> and hit Control J. Now you have one object that has these cubes all in there. So. Uh, now I'm gonna go to I'm gonna hit three so I'm gonna go to the side view I'm gonna go to the modifier tab hit add modifier and array uh, oh I want one instead of three not one not three anyway so I want the front view and you can see it duplicated that and it made this box bigger and if you can see it the it interacts with it live so that, that's pretty cool but it's not quite given the same effect we want because we have we have a cube here and a cube here so it's twice the size of this one cube so I'm gonna do so I'm gonna hit S middle mouse button I'm gonna lock it to the x-axis uh, and then I hit point 0.5 on the keyboard. That makes it exactly the same size as this cube. Now if I just increase this count here, the array modifier will take care of the rest. And we now have this cube that will just keep going. Now I'm going to show you something cool because the modifiers on this, you have, the, you have the boolean right here, right? So I'm going to hit add modifier and array but the problem is, it's, it's actually arraying this over here also. Which is, see, like it's arraying it here, over here. Which isn't what we want. And if we were to keep doing that, it does it the whole time. Not what we want. So I'm going to undo that. And I'm going to increase that so we can see it a little bit easier. And I'm just going to hit the up right, arrow right here. And boom. It works seamlessly now. So... Alrighty, that's pretty much the end of the tutorial. There's one more thing I didn't want to show you. If you want to be done with this and you don't want to edit anymore with the booleans, 
So you can change this and it'll edit. If you're done with the booleans completely with this object and you want to do something different with this object, you can hit apply to mesh. And now I can move this and it won't be affected by the booleans. So that's this Blender Know How tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and like and subscribe. We'll we'll see you later.